says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us. Anybody been there? Amen. If it hadn't been for the Lord, I've been dead so many years ago in the middle of that street right there. If it hadn't been for the Lord, I'd have gave up on that dark night when I was depressed. If it hadn't been for the Lord, I'd have cried myself right out of salvation. But God came by. Amen. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord, then they had swallowed us up quick when the wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord. I believe David's getting a little excited right now. Who have not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird out of the stair of the fowlers. The stair is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Thank God. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God that I don't rely upon my own authority, my own knowledge, or my own, my, my, my own personality. I'm thankful as much as I love Brother Tony. I'm glad that he's not the one that's sustaining me. He's not the one keeping me because he's going to fail me eventually. But I know one that has stood the test. I know one that's tried and true. I know one that said, hey, I was the head, but I'm alive and I'm alive for you. I know one who went down into the pit of hell and took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. I know the one that stood up and rose with healing in his queen and said, all power is given to me. And I'm serving the one that the Bible says, one of these days that at the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess. Everybody's going to, one of these days, that old devil that's been so hard on us is going to be drug kicking and screaming into the portals of heaven. The one that has rejected Christ. The one that's trying to make us believe there ain't no God. He's going to fall down before the throne. He's going to look up in my feet and clench teeth. But he's going to declare, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. I'm telling you, church, we win if we don't quit. I'm still standing. I hope you are with me. Amen. Preach on, bro. Church, it's no time to quit. I feel like that in my spirit that somebody in here has had those thoughts this past week. It's not time to give up. You prayed for that lost loved one, that child or that parent. I'm telling you, don't quit. Don't give up. Some of you might have friends that are out there in school that, you know, that may be being pulled away by drugs or something. I'm telling you, live that light in front of them. Tell them that Jesus Christ still loves them. And don't give up on them. I prayed for my dad. My mom and I prayed for my dad for 27 years. But God eventually saved his soul. Galatians 6 and 9 says, Let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap, reap if we thank God. Amen. Don't quit, church. Don't give up on God. Remember that song says, Don't give up on the child of God. He'll be there when the battle is over. He'll make it through the night. Find it. I forgot how it goes. But it's in. Yeah, go ahead and laugh. I'm laughing to myself. Don't give up on the child of God. He'll be there when the battle's over. Amen. I preached a message one time, and i got to bring this in. But I want you all to know, and I hope I don't. You've got any Kentuckians here? Couple. Kentucky background heritage? Okay, let me put that. Do we have anybody that loves onions? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm about to make 75% of your church man happy. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I want to make myself totally perfectly clear. I want everybody's attention. Eyes up here. Remember the, the, the classroom, the teacher. Eyes up here. I want everybody to understand and don't misinterpret what, I, what I'm about to say. I don't want you all leaving here and saying the opposite thing about what I'm about to say. Okay, you all ready? Here's my, my great theological truth. I hate onions. Woo! I got some things. I hate onions. Okay? Anybody not? Anybody still a little bit little, uh, little fuzzy on that one? <laughs> I've slowed it way down so you can get this point. I preach against onions. On more than one occasion, I have. I preached a sermon that says, I hate onions. <laughs> the children of Israel, they come out of Egypt. They're eating these men from heaven wafers. That tastes like honey. And there's some of them that have the audacity to say, I wish we were back in Egypt. 
where we had garlics and melons and leeks and onions. In the corner of my Bible, I wrote, yuck! <laughs> Who in their right mind would, would throw away a wafer made, I'm thinking like, you know, like a Twinkie or something, and go back and eat an onion? Oh. Don't make no yeah, and I preached against onions. I have everybody that knows me in my church, they know me. Some of the sisters, they try to fool me at, at homecomings. They try to cut it up real small, put it in that, that, that meatloaf. I'm going to tell you if there's an onion in there, I'm going to find it. <laughs> One of my worst nightmares happened. I went over to an elderly couple's visiting. I tried to call them. I knew they were bad in health. I couldn't call. They wouldn't answer the phone and stuff, so I had to go over to their house, knock on the door, and there they were in the front room watching TV. So I come in, everything okay? Yeah, yeah. They said, well, I had brother, pastor, have you had supper yet? And I made a mistake. I said, well, no, I ain't that much to eat. Well, come on in. We're about ready to eat supper. And I'm, I, I tell you, Brother Tony, I promise you, the first thing that hit my mind is, I hope they're not serving me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, as we're walking back to the kitchen, what are we having? Oh, we got meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lord, I know your word says I'm going to eat this in the morning, but it just got big onions, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I came in there, and there were onions sticking on top of the size of my thumb. <laughs> now I'm honest. I stick one of them in my mouth and I crush down on it, it's coming back out. Plus, whatever else is went in.